Well, it's day three of All Stars with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by the dynamic duo. That's what I'm dubbing them right now. They just got off a. Uh, Wait, what's our what's our situation? couple name then? Dash and Kobe. Doby. <laughs> Doby's Doby's very wholesome. That sounds. That's like your pet. That's a little bit. Otherwise, it's close Dash. To, very close to do, uh, Dobby, Cash. right? That's more Cash or Doby. Yeah. I think I think uh, Dobby is the like Harry yeah. Potter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you I'm a big Dobby We're fan. Go with Cash. We're house elf. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're in Vegas, so we're cashing out. Yeah, we're yes, cashing. Exactly. Well, fantastic. How how have you been doing in Vegas? I've been doing I've been doing well. Uh, I, we were at the tables the other night, had a good time there. Uh, but otherwise, you know, these I are... never gamble at all, so I'm doing great, sure. dead even. Yeah, Kobe. <laughs> you not gamble? No. <laughs> well, Kobe's an old man now. He goes to bed like as soon as the show's over. He's like packing it in. I'm gonna hit the hay. Got to get my 11 <laughs> hours of sleep. Whatever. I'm a true it is. boomer. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I mean, he's been going at back at home. I've seen him going to sleep. Well before midnight. The light turns dark, and then it's suddenly time for me to be quiet. Do you have to? Is it like, a, are you really sensitive to noise? Is yeah. That a, well, will you yell? Also, there's no soundproofing in our apartment, and he's extremely loud. That's not accurate at all. I'll be whispering into the microphone, and he's like, I can hear you as if you're right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, rough. Is he like text stuff? Is he just like all caps, text? Shut no, no, no. So his keyboard, his mechanical keyboard, echoes through the entire house, even just his keyboard. Oh, that's brutal, the clickety clacks. Well, what, what happens is he, I don't get the angry message, but I'll just. His door will open, and then because uh, we share a hallway with my office, uh -huh. and then I'll, his door will, I'll hear his door open, and then I'll hear my door close. And then his, his door will I close. I don't say again. anything anymore, I just yeah. close that yeah. shit. Also, I know you're the interviewer, but I have one more quote. What's the status of the cat? Yeah, what huh? is the status of the What's cat? What's the status Travis? of the cat? First off, to be clear, as, I'm. As his new, you know, uh, I'm, I'm, duo. I'm not the cash. interviewer. <laughs> I don't know if you've read, read it recently. Not the interview. Secondly, the cat situation. All right. Listen, I was right on the verge, and then he was like, I'm going to be gone for six weeks, essentially. So, and that's partially your fault. I was not, I was, I'm not convinced that, like, that was not a great way. Like, I'll take care of the cat, but right. also, I'm going to leave for six weeks. And I'm like, who would be taking care of the no, cat? No, in that no, no. Getting the cat is after we come back next year. Yeah, but so does that mean all these six week, uh, uh, you know, they got cat ventures? hotels, Travis. When we go to Worlds, there'll be a special Worlds cat well, hotel. What about when you go on another two week trip with Dash? <laughs> Who is the cat going to go to the cat hotel, or are you? Gonna, am I going to be like, yo? Uh, yeah, you that's definitely watch the cat? on you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> See, that's what I'm talking about. I, my whole thing is, I don't want to be a cat owner. Okay, do you uh, know how easy it is to take care no of a cat? You do not. You give easy. it food and you clean the litter box maybe twice yeah. while we're gone. Not interested in cleaning maybe litter box more than twice, but you know we can get into the hygiene <laughs> of it all at another time. Also, also they shed. Also, it, uh, it'll be you know meowing outside my door. I mean, yeah. this is there's a lot of stuff here. You know, to turn the tables and the noise complaints. Yes, when, exactly. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, Sorry. let's talk about. So you guys were just doing push-ups. We were, we were, as you we may won. have known. Yeah, uh, well, not by the rules, jury, but jury, yeah, it's true. Not <laughs> in by a two v one, we won. And the jury is still out on the official number. But uh, as some people will know, we put a bet on the LCK LPL uh, regional match uh, that Kobe ended up losing. So he had to go up against Tyler one in a one v one push up contest. Um, did not fare so well for him. Even with me trying to come to the rescue, I'm not sure it fared so well for either well, of I, us. And I thought you don't gamble, huh? I thought you don't gamble. Yeah, I thought it was a sure thing. But then he, but yeah, yeah, exactly. I thought that was a sure thing. That's exactly the reason why he doesn't gamble. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. he always loses, as we've seen here. Well, yeah, no, it, but it was a good time. Tyler is always so fun to work with, and, uh, and yeah. that'll, that'll show up later in today's show. So. So you guys are headed off on vacation though. After this, you've uh, what? What day are you leaving? Yeah, we're a uh, day after we fly back from here. So yeah, we, so we, we fly Tuesday? back. Yeah, yeah, we're leaving Monday. on Monday, but we fly back to LA tomorrow. Okay, great. All right, and then uh, this is great because in this interview, I can ask you because I don't know when are you coming back to the apartment? Uh, right before New Year's, uh, New Year's Eve. Because I'm go I'm flying from our vacation back home to right. uh, Berkeley. And you're not going to like Countdown. You might go to Countdown. Because if you go to Countdown, then I won't even see you because you'll go to that instead. I like this. It's just like, I don't it's know just, what I'm doing for New Year's It's just roommates Eve. making plans on camera. This yeah. is really fun. Well, I, I, was, I haven't been <laughs> yeah. able to see him, and I need is to figure this Is this an out. interview, or is this just a chat? <laughs> I'm, of, just, uh, I'm just a mediator <laughs> to make sure that yeah. all the planning goes well. Yes. Yeah. 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 Please mediate our This is a scheduling meeting. <laughs> Please mediate the cat conversation. Follow up question. Complaints. What are you doing for New Year's Eve? Uh, I don't know yet. Um, I, I assume offline will have some sort of thing like they always do. And you assume office. that you're welcome there. Well, Broden and I just, <laughs> I've become his plus one over time. <laughs> I, yeah. I switch through here. As I become Kobe's plus one, yes, you've yes. become Broden's plus well, one. Well, because also last night at Hakkasan, for instance, uh, 
Fed got a table and Peter invited me, uh-huh. but then later on kind of reneged on like, well, I, I'm going, I don't know if I can get you in or whatever. <laughs> so then Broden messaged Fed because Broden could get a message. Broden, Broden can get anyone in. Yeah, yeah. That's just how, that's how Broden rolls. Yeah, so. Well, it's, it's pissed me off, by the way, because <laughs> I brought him into the scene and like now, now everyone... People forget that he does work with me. Like, Fed was like, what are you doing out here, Broden? What brings you out? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's right. You do work with Travis. And I'm like, that's literally how this all started. So it's very frustrating. You're a little insecure over here, Travis. As as I know it, uh, Travis works with Broden. Uh, That's not not an accurate depiction. Not from behind the camera. I mean, his work is harder than your work, (laughs) as we've seen. That's not accurate at all. He doesn't get giant threads on Reddit flaming his work, right? There's a lot of pressure that hits me that doesn't hit him. It's true, it's true. And then I have to deal with the aftermath when he comes home crying. It's true, it's true. That's when you go and close his door. (laughs) Yeah, you can go back to sleep. (laughs) (laughs) It puts it in eyes. Better now. <laughs> he dropped. Yeah, he dropped off a pint of ice cream right. for me while I was sobbing. Slide it in there. Oh my goodness. Should we talk about League of Legends at all? Okay, yeah, I feel like that's a good idea. Decent game. <laughs> Decent. Not like TFT. A great game, by the way. No. Um. Let's see. No. Uh, during the off season, there's been a ton of changes. What have been the most exciting for you guys? Oh my goodness. Um. Well, I'm drawing a blank all of a sudden. Uh, um. Well, I'm okay. I'm really happy to finally see Golden Glue on a starting roster. I have been wanting to see this guy has been deserving of a starting LCS spot for the longest time. And while you know his development was definitely aided by being on Cloud Nine um, and being in kind of that you know swapping sub situation, I just want to see a full 18 games, right? Like, how does this guy stack up against other mid laners in the LCS? We only had to sacrifice our other two in a mid laners to get him there. <laughs> it was a terrible ritual that sent them out. But okay, so Golden Glue for you. How about you? My eyes are always on the, our top team, and with Team Liquid actually making a change, mm. I've been talking to so many uh, European casters and analysts and stuff about uh, what they think. It, like, how is Broxley gonna actually work with this team? And hands are still kind of up in the air here because theoretically this move should make maybe their jungle mid duo stronger for for that element that they were kind of looking to improve on. But losing X Smithy, you lose a, a lot of intangibles. So I, I'm very curious to see how uh, we do at our next international competition. And uh, tied to that, I think what I'm excited about is that TL made only one change, right? Like, they, they decided they wanted to change something, but it wasn't like, ah, blow up the roster again because we didn't hit whatever our international aspirations were. Make one small change, let the other four core members of the team continue to build their synergy and work together and see how this kind of injection of new blood, you know, affects the rest of the team, but it's not, you know, disaster struck. We've got we've to change And everything. jungle itself is changed. Too. True. So when you make your off-season changes, and then the role that you changed is actually a bit different, uh, that adds an extra dynamic. Well, and what's fascinating to me is this this helps me answer another question I had for you, which is, do you think any team can take on TL next year? Because you yourself just said, well, they're changing Broxa. We don't know how this is going to go. So we'll have to see how we do at the next international event, which is MSI, where we can only send one team. It sounds <laughs> like true. you're assuming that's it's true. TL that's going to go. I, I, I still would put my money on Team Liquid topping uh, the LCS. But I, I there, mean, there are a lot more changes to the t- to the to the contenders, basically. Yeah, uh, that's for s- certain. Right. But I, I would argue that you could have taken most junglers and shoved them in with those four TL members, and TL would still look like a top team. That's what about how good me? Those four are. That's maybe. Let's that's, push the limits. Yeah, that's maybe the line, <laughs> right? Like that's where we just jump to not possible yeah, anymore. That's rough. <laughs> All right, sorry, Kobe. Uh, now I'm gonna have to shut his door whenever right. we get back but tomorrow, and he he's crying. No, uh, I mean, he'll be crying on our two-week vacation. That's yes. what it'll be. <laughs> oh, okay. The whole way I, I want to ask a little bit more about League before we get to the two-week okay. vacation. I know we're, we've got some other interviews I got to So, uh, but uh, what, what do you guys think of all the League of Legends changes to the map and all that stuff, especially maybe Kobe with the, the jungle changes? Uh, I mean, I've just been spamming Olaf. Uh, they've changed Conquer as well, uh, so Olaf is extremely strong. And watching in the 1v1s gets me more excited to go play that. But that's... That's mainly what I've just been spamming in Summoner's Rift. So I haven't, I haven't had like a diverse view. Um, I actually played a lot of TFT the last week because coming into All-Stars, I was told that I was going to cast all the TFT stuff. 
Uh, so I spammed a bunch of set two. Yeah, and I think uh, as Jat's been talking about all, all week here at uh, All Stars, uh, the Drake changes are huge um, and will ideally incentivize a lot more fighting around preventing, you know, um, the Dragon Soul going over to the other team. And so, you know, how that might change the meta and how teams approach global objectives should be uh, very exciting. The the smaller change that I'm curious by and really haven't uh, honestly had an opportunity to like to view that much is just the lane changes. Like, I don't know if those the little- The outcomes? The little outcomes. Uh, I haven't really I don't think they anything. change that much, Right, no. like, I, in my head, I'm like, I don't imagine they would change a lot, but I'm kind of waiting for, like, someone to, like, figure something out, you know? And, like, it turns out that it's, like, a really big deal. <laughs> I feel like if you did, you know, those Google Trends or whatever, where you can look up terms, the word alcove must be being used oh, more right, now right. than at any other point in history. Like, it's just a right. specific what's, word. What's a bot lane alcove? So we do, uh, <laughs> we, our stats team does heat maps sometimes in the LCS, like when we're analyzing mid split through. Um, I'm looking forward to our heat maps where there are zero interactions in right. the alcoves. Just totally ignored. It's exactly yeah. the same. And there's like no spots out there. All right. Well, rounding out the interview, you guys are about to go on a vacation that I was not invited on. I'm just kind of curious what, <laughs> where you guys are going, what this is going to look like, you know, and uh, what I'm missing out on. Uh, two weeks. Uh, the first week we're going to Vietnam. Uh, we're going to be in the northern uh, part in Hanoi as kind of home base, but maybe uh, Hoi An and a couple other Halong places, Bay. Uh, Halong Bay, things like that. And then we're popping over to Thailand. I've already been there once before. It's my favorite place in the world. Tour, uh, bring a tour guide with you. Exactly, That's the greatest but move. But I'm going to show Kobe around for the second week. We're going to be again be in northern Thailand, Chiang Mai, where all the good food is, all the good uh, traditional northern Thai food is up there. But again, when I was in Thailand last time, I didn't have the opportunity to go up to places like Chiang Rai or Pai, which are a couple really cool towns to the northwest and the nor northwest northeast um and so yeah we're just going to be kind of cruising around eating as much delicious food as we it's can it's been like three years since i had a real vacation so i'm just looking forward to completely detaching from social media and league of legends and the scene basically and we're going backpacks like we're just yeah. going it's like backpacks yeah yeah we're going very much like you know the whole point of this trip is like hostels. adventure mode off-road like stand hostels just meet travelers and exactly very old school i mean i remember you mentioning you did like the hostel thing before so this is kind of fun for you yeah uh, return to well, that. We've got tons of, we've like, hit, we tapped everybody. My brother was in Vietnam before, so we, I was like, give me all the suggestions. A couple of our coworkers are either from there or have lived there for a period of time. So we've got a giant list of everywhere we need to hit. We're going to see how many we can do uh, in, in a short period of time. Well, this is, I mean, I'm a little bit uh, jealous of the Thailand stuff, but got to say, Broden and I, We've been to Vietnam. When you guys, when you guys I, were any recommendations? When you guys I, already, had the I already asked him for oh, the asked, recommendations. Ha Long Bay is what what we <laughs> okay, said. Got it. Got yeah, got there's it. some great outros on some of my old videos you can watch. But okay. uh, no, I mean I'm just saying, you know, you guys, we got to go over there check it out while you guys were working the late night shift, the graveyard. So oh, uh, it was kind of. We don't have to worry about little that. little you know, gloaty, gloaty here at the yeah, end of yeah, the interview. Yeah. Right. Uh, awkward well, way to end it. Feeling left out. Let him, let him have it. Uh. Yeah. All right. I don't need to go on your stupid vacation. I've already gone to Vietnam. Losers. The best time that I had in my whole life was the backpacking trip in Europe that I uh, talked to you about, though. So high hopes for this one. All right. All I'm right. excited. All right. I'm excited for all the, the stories I'll hear or not hear whenever. Right. I remember you were upset about my Instagram stories from the last time I was in Thailand. So I'll, we'll make sure to do exactly the same thing this time around. Yeah, I'm going to have to unfollow you on. So, well, but you're doing oh, yeah. the backpacking thing. Follow our Instagrams at Esports Kobe and Ride Dash. At Ride Dash. I thought you're unplugging. Oh! Whoa, yeah. Whoa. Oh! No, 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 let's be very clear. It's not like we're going to be like, it's not going to be a ton of interest. We're going to do the thing where we like video and photograph throughout the day, and then we'll like upload a story at the end of the day, you know. You have a social media <laughs> plan for this, yeah, for yeah. this vacation. You're, you're, so, you're unplugging so much that you've planned out how yeah. you're going to deliver your social content. we content. don't have to think about it. But we're <laughs> we're going to take the pictures. <laughs> I'm not going to do tweets. How about right. yeah, And yeah, I'm yeah. not going to engage in, uh, you know, league discussions. Look, we got to remember those, those moments, those, <laughs> exactly. sweet, those sweet, tender moments, yeah. right? Right. I'm glad you're unplugging so much. Anyway, <laughs> is there anything you want to say to anybody out there? I, I think I we already know. said it, Yeah, we Travis. said everything we need to say, Travis. You can check out the rest of my coverage of all things <laughs> esports right here on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching that interview. The holidays are upon us. I just want to say you should go check out Alienware.com slash Travis when you're looking for gifts or making your wish list or... Writing to Santa. Anyway, they've got some great stuff over there. Please check them out. There's a link in the description of this video. Really appreciate it.